Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to our next episode of Ender Lilies. Last time out, we got ourselves a new spirit friend. Uh, the spirit of Elaine, I believe her name is, right? Elaine? Dark Witch Elaine. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with Elaine. I'm not sure. Um, right, so we had also got ourselves very much set up in terms of not where we're really at. We're going to have... I think let's stick Elaine on this one. And I, I kind of like, like that as a setup. Yeah. We've got other new memories. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, Elaine's memories. There we go. Get rid of that notification. We now have the ability to swim in water, so we are going to be doing a little exploration. It's almost certainly going to involve a little bit of backtracking, considering that this room is explicitly a dead end, question mark? No, it's not. Right, okay, we're actually back. We're actually back here. Hmm. I see, I see. Ah. Well, at least now we can fight back here, right? And we're not we're not fighting for oxygen, so that's handy. Great. Well, if we have a look at the map, Okay, our completed areas are orange, so that's going to be the areas where we have all of the secrets from them. So we don't need to backtrack all the way back to the start, but there's definitely a few in that upper path that would make sense for us to go back to. But for now, most of the water is in this lower, you know, in this, in this lower right-hand region here, so... I think we're okay exploring using this path here, right? Oh, lovely. Stagnant light. Where is this going to take us back to? It's really hard to uh, gauge a sense of the scale of these rooms sometimes. Is that something we're supposed to enter from below, for example, or from above? Oh, blimey, we're going all the way up. Well, we now... Oh, we can sink! We can sink in these. So, is there anything over there that we want to be able to try and get to? It's slightly unclear, right? <laughs> Just absolutely nosedive into the uh, into the drink there. Oh, there is a platform over there though, which we could try and get to. But realistically, yeah, I'm not sure you're going to get that. I think we're I think we're waiting for the triple jump to get into that. With water though, we can probably go that that room that's to the left of the room that we're currently in that's probably one that you can get into now great uh yeah let's not worry whoop ah oh. Good old Gerard. He's just he's got the range to deal with these guys, doesn't he? Just give just providing the casual smackdown <laughs> to everyone. Don't really need to worry about those guys.
Now, there's a door there that we can't get through. And yes, immediately we're going to be able to make use of our newfound ability. Lovely. Oh, Gerard can't work underwater. That's good to know. Oh, and neither can the Raven, either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, we'll just, we'll just take that. Is that a thing? No, it's just a light source. Okay, that's fine. We're going deeper and deeper into into the, the depths here. Oh shoot! Okay, we got ourselves healed. Oof. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a problem if uh, if we take too many more hits like that. Furious Blight. Lovely. Love to see it. I mean, obviously, you know, as we've discussed before, there is no downsides to dying in this game, so there is no incentive to ever backtrack to a safer location, right? get to there at some point. We should be able to loop back to open up that shortcut pretty soon, I would think. Oh, sniped from above. That's nice. Shortcut unlocked. Lo oh no! Ah, I spoke too soon! Oh man, okay, one more Healy. One more heal in us here. Gotta be a little bit careful now. We can clearly, definitely jump down that, but there we go, the shortcut is unlocked. What's under here then? Oh no! Right, we want to jump down that and stay on the left. It's okay, because uh, all of these guys are, are gone already, so that's sort of fine. And we have a path there to the left, and we also have another thing which is open now. What is this? Whatever it is, it's opened up something. Okay. 
So we're going to take uh, this path before going back underwater, right? Oh, that was probably this door. We just couldn't see it previously. Ah, oh, we got a priestess wish. Okay. So this is where the priestesses lived, is it? Mm. But there we go. That's a that's a handy handy secret there. And the fact that we've got this on... Wait, what? I unlocked that. Is that on a timer? Okay. It's not too much of a problem, because now that we've got the shortcut unlocked, um, we can get back. Like, this switch is literally on our way back. Oh, yeah, I see, I see the cog turning. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you can't dilly-dally. Oh, you really can't dilly-dally. That's actually quite a, um, a close time. Here we go, brand new area. Well, I hope that guy wasn't a friendly. Hang on, are these guys just... No, okay, no, they are they are attacking. For a moment there, I, I was suddenly filled with a lot of self-doubt as to like, are these guys walking past me for some reason? Where are they going? So this is a totally new area, for sure. Oh yeah, of course, of course, right. Let's get let's get Crow Friend out. Can't see where the next platform's gonna be. There we go, that'll help us. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Oh, oh man, no, we're getting getting beat, we're getting beaten down there. Bit more Furious Blight, we like it. I mean, to be fair, like, getting rid of the enemies is sort of a little bit optional, right? The, oh, oh no, yeah, no, that's it, that's, that, that's our run done there. Getting rid of the enemies is sort of a little bit optional, because all the enemies do is prevent you exploring? Well, I mean, there's levelling up as well, right? But um, but the enemies respawn as soon as you hit a bench or when you die. So you don't really need to get them, yeah? Dark Souls rules, yeah? All you're looking to do is get to the next bench. At this point, do we want to continue looking in that direction or do we want to backtrack now that we have the ability to go into water? Like, I'm kind of interested to see what's available in some of these upper paths now. So let's go and do that. So we know that there's a new area down there. That's that's great, that's great to know. What I'm interested in is picking up um, some secrets along the way. So we're gonna go from here and explore to the right first and then come back. I can't remember what was preventing us um, getting further than where we fought Gerald. I think this might be um, not water. I have a feeling that this is actually... Uh... Okay, so we've been in there. That's fine. It's a castle wall, which we cannot climb. And it doesn't even look like a triple jump will get us there either, so this might be something a lot, lot later to worry about. TBH. That's okay. So 
So we've got some water down here which we can now explore. And is this also going to lead us to a new, just a new environment? More Furious Blight. We like Furious Blight very much. But it looks like this is a shortcut that we're going to unlock later. This is a shortcut that we're going to unlock later. Okay. Uh, so which way do we want to try next then? Upwards? Upwards or downwards? Shall we try... Well, they link back to each other, so shall we try upwards first? This is the way that we originally used to come to Jared. Had the wrong, uh, had the wrong things equipped. Boink. Just smack you down like that. Oh man, we're actually getting kind of, kind of served here, aren't we? So there is a way. It's not necessarily a path upwards, literally upwards, right, because um, the way the map coordinates itself is up can also mean in. Just something to bear in mind. Oh yeah, we should definitely take that with us as well. So yeah, okay. Unclear where uh, unclear where that was going then. In here. <laughs> so we've been along this way. And we'll have got those, and we'll have dealt with those guys, so that's all sort of fine. This path down here though, this is new. No, it's not a path, it's just uh, it's just more blight. Great. I mean that's uh, I mean it helps with all the leveling we need to do, yeah. does seem like this is going to be the end-ish of what we have to explore in this area because this is going to take us back up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, backtracking for Blight is... I mean, Blight is what we're using to upgrade all of our skills, so backtracking for Blight is never going to be a bad thing. Um, still does not count as orange in that room, though. Mm -hmm. Aha, right. 
We're not going to get orange into Inga up there, so we're waiting for triple jump for this one. Come on, Raven friend. Uh, okay, we managed to get that one already, so that's fine. I'm going to kind of run on the assumption that the water is going to be at the uh, at the bottom of the rooms that we are going to be looking at. Absolute chaos going on at the moment. Oh, hang on. Have we not busted? We've not busted through this one yet. How do we miss this one? Can we not get to the top of that building or something? Okay, let's take a Healy there. So we need to bust through that building, do we? I mean, I'm assuming it's not water that was preventing us uh, busting through that, to be honest. That's kind of off the table for the moment, then. Okay, need to be a little bit more careful. Well, actually, no, as discussed, we kind of don't really need to be more careful. Um, Okay, we are back at a bench. So, a little bit of blight there. Let's have a look at what we can enhance with that. How much have we ended up with? Uh, we've ended up with 51 Furious Bar Lights, which can get Elaine up, but not Jared. And realistically, I think I'd rather level up Jared to level four. Probably. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep those for now, unless we come across a boss that we really can't handle. Um, what have we got? We're holding 26 stagnant light now. Which is not really enough to um, level up anything of interest right now. Let's then... Mm-hmm. I reckon we go left, down, right. Or actually, no. Let's see about left, left. Hmm. Either left, left, or left, down. One of the two. I think it's going to be sort of more... It's more sort of village stuff anyway, right? So I'm, I'm not really expecting a huge amount of water that we can now explore. Certainly not up there. Oh, well, anyway, this room is all, um, this room's all explored. Oh, okay, those guys got range. Okay. 
Well, we certainly couldn't swim through this before. Reach 10 respites. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, nice. What have we got here? Pick up Freesha's ring. Freesha's ring grants the ability to parry once equipped. Press RT in time with an incoming attack to repel the strike and nullify its effects. The ring worn by the white priestess of the font. The third priestess of the font was a special note that she was less susceptible to the blight. Oh. All right. How much does it cost? It costs zero slots, so you just you just equip it. It's it's basically an ability then that you've unlocked. The sunken graveyard is upon us. Signs of the ancient litter this place. Not much has changed since then. The ancients once called what is now Land's End their home. Their home, their families, their honour, all stolen away from them. I am the last of the ancient warriors. Once I fell, nothing remained of my era after I awoke except for my deathless pack. Right, so, Ancient Graveyard, that's clearly going to be another large area. Before we do that... Ah, uh, or maybe we do, maybe we do just want to do that. Ah, uh, now, now I'm getting hit with indecision. Because there's another path just here, right? Which presumably is not going to lead to a large area. So let's quickly check out that path first. And then we'll go for Ancient Graveyard, maybe. But we're now starting to get a couple of very large alternate paths that we can explore. Oh, we can't get through this because we need a sideways, uh, we need a sideways barrier jump. Fine. Jobs are good and then let's, let's go into the ancient, uh, let's go into the ancient graveyard. I wonder what we're going to find in there. Well, that doesn't look like something we're going to be able to come back from easily, does it? But then again, we'll respawn back at our bench, right? This is... The rain's destructive wake closes off many paths for us. Though we may unearth ancient relics or hidden alcoves if we stay sharp. There is a, a, a very famous point in... Super Metroid, where you go through one of these one-way doors quite early on in the game, and then you are in an area until you get out of it. Hollow Knight does the same thing, right? In, I believe, plus or minus, depending on how you get there, in two different scenarios, right? There's one where you end up at the, um, at the graveyard, and... You can't go back to where you were. I think that's after you defeat the first Watcher in Hollow Knight. I would need to double check that. Um, and the other one is, of course, Deep Nest, where depending on how you enter Deep Nest, you can't actually get out of Deep Nest easily, right? So you lose the ability momentarily to backtrack. Now, I wonder how strict this game is going to be on that point, right? Because we have, we have fast travel unlocked. Thank you. 
Hey, parry. Parry, nice. The parry timing, okay, is actually quite forgiving. Uh, long time viewers on this channel will know that I have never successfully parried in Dark Souls ever. Like, yeah. Just, I just cannot get the hang of that timing. And I've, and I've beaten Dark Souls, like, no, no problem, right? But not by parrying. That water does not look very healthy for us, does it? Oh, these guys have got decent, decent health bars, don't they? Having the ranged attacks on our side is going to be mighty beneficial for us. Oh. Disagree. Oh man, we took that straight to the face. Bit of stagnant blight, always nice. Uh, right, if we wanted to bust through there, we would kind of need to know where to bust through from, but. Climbing back up this might be a touch on the difficult side, to be honest. Which indicates to me that we might be getting triple jump at some point in here. feeling it's here. It is. Nice. Well, that shortcut will stay unlocked, which is kind of nice, but um, tell you what, we're going to have ourselves a little, we're going to have a little problem pretty soon. There we go. We're, we are, we are donezo there. But that's okay. That's okay. I have a feeling that uh, that what we've just opened up there might actually link back to here fairly swiftly. That would be kind of all right, wouldn't it? Hmm. I am kind of tempted to go with the uh, with that lower path first. I don't know, lower path or upper path first. Hmm. 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 Don't know. Lower path or upper path? We've got about 10 seconds to think about it. Whee! Well, lower path is certainly easier to get to, isn't it? Now this way has no exits, which would imply that it's more likely to have secrets. Because if you come into the middle of a room and the only exit is on one particular side of it, then what's the point of the rest of it, yeah?
<gasps> Ancient Crypt Keeper? Let's go! Oh, man! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get done well quick. <laughs> oh, my word. Yeah, okay, right. Optional boss. Cool. Good to know. So that's what's in that side of uh, of the below there. Well, my friends, that is going to bring us to the end of today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Next time out, we're going to continue diving into that ancient catacomb and see if we link up back to where we were before. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.